What's up guys? In today's Design With Me in Cricut Design Space, we'll be making this diagonal outline effect in Cricut Design Space. And normally I design things in either Adobe Illustrator or sometimes even in Canva. I don't really use Cricut Design Space to design, but that doesn't mean that we can't design in Cricut Design Space. This new series is to show you guys how we can use Cricut Design Space and really maximize on the features that we do have here to create some really cool things. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is add our text. So we can head over to our text option here and we can start typing something. I'm going to use the word craft and the font I've chosen for this example is called Lemon Milk. Now, before I do anything else with this, I'm going to adjust the letter spacing here, just because I know right now, if I was to stack this word uh, on, top of each, on top of each other right now, it's not going to make a nice perfect square. So I wanna get it to better square dimensions. Uh, so I'm going to adjust this to, let's try three. And that looks a little bit better. So once I have all the letters stacked on top of each other, this will give me a more square image. Next, I am going to copy this layer and I'm going to make five of them so I have enough room for all my letters. And you'll notice here that I'm not actually um, trying to line anything up right now. And the reason why is because there's a much more efficient and accurate way of doing this. So I'm, I'm just going to copy and paste five of them. And uh, then I'm going to just control A. So grab all the layers here. And I am going to go to my align tab here. And this is my favorite feature in Cricut Design Space, actually. Um, I'm going to align left. That way everything is aligned to the left. And then I want them spaced out properly. So I'm going to go to um, align and distribute vertically. Now you can see the spacing between them is a little bit tight. So I'm actually going to move this one down a little bit. And I'm going to select everything again and just do the same steps. And you'll see the spacing really cleared up there. It's still just a little bit more tight than I would like. All right, that is much better. Next, what I'm going to do is grab each layer one by one, and I'm going to head to this advanced tab here and go to ungroup to letters because we wanna work with each letter individually. And I'm going to do that with each of these text layers. And now you see I have basically all my letters are disconnected. So the reason why we did that was because before it was a word per row. So it's a little bit hard to manipulate our design and our letters that way. Um, this way we have a lot more control over each individual letter in our design. So I'm going to grab all of those now and I'm going to group them. So if you head up here, there is the group option or you can right click and head to group. I'm going to give that a name. I'm just going to call this, um, I'm going to call it group one for now, just so we're able to tell the difference. And I'm going to copy that layer and paste that entire layer. I'm going to call that group two. And I'm I could try to like line this up, but again, you never know how perfect it's going to be. So there's two ways we can try to line things up. The first way is grabbing one of the layers and heading to more and looking at the position up here and actually just putting that number in for your second group. Or the second option actually is if you now take the two groups because they are in two separate groups, you can use that align option again to line things up. So if I align left, now they're both aligned to that edge. And if I align to the top, then they're both aligned there as well. And they should be perfectly on top of each other now. All right. So next I'm going to just hide 
group two for now because I want to work with each layer one at a time. And I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to start removing some letters here. I'm going to ungroup this layer for now just so it's easier to work with. And I'm going to grab each of these letters in my diagonal. And you can see here only those letters are highlighted. So the A, the T, the F. And if I just I just held down my command key, so I believe it's control. I forget what the key is in Windows, but it's either the option, the control or the alt <laughs> key. When you hold that down and you click on the pieces that you need, it only selects those parts. So this has only selected the word craft that's going diagonal here. And now it's, it's selected that. And I'm going to group those together to remove them from the other letters. I'm going to call this craft diagonal and now I can select the rest of those pieces and unselect this one to make sure that doesn't grab that and just hit delete that way we, all we are left with left with is the word craft going diagonal all right now I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to um, show the group two and hide the craft diagonal because we're done working with that layer for now all right, so working with our group two layer here, we're now going to do the reverse and remove all the letters that we are done with. All right, and then we are going to take this group and we are going to weld everything together. We are going to go to our offset now and we're going to put in a small number so i'm gonna do 0 0.02 just a really really small number so it creates a very small outline and then we're going to grab our weld and our offset layer and we are going to slice now we're going to have these three layers and if you delete the first two you should be left with the outline layer and if we make that grouping visible again we have our final product i'm just going to make everything a nice bright red and that's it so this video is a part of my new series that's called design with me in, Cr in cricket design space so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one until next time bye